Uh, I try to go once a year, but um, with me recently moving, I'm kind of overdue for it. So. Like at uni, I heard quite. I had an emergency dentist, and they were horrific. So I kind of it took me a while to find a decent one. But now I've relocated to Manchester. I've kind of been putting it off a bit, admittedly, trying to find a decent dentist. So. I need to get on that really. I've been so unlucky with dentists because I found there was like an emergency dentist and I'd cracked a tooth um, and it, yeah, it hurt so much. So they, they managed to get me in fine and like all the staff were amazing, but the actual dentist, she just went in there, like poked it a little bit and then pulled it out, but left half of it in. And I had to actually go home and physically pull the tooth out myself. And I have pictures of like, the sink being covered in blood and it's like having to pull my own tooth out it hurt so much and then I got an infection from it because I did it myself I needed stitches and ugh, it was horrific so yeah I'm not a fan but I have had like when I found a decent dentist in Preston absolutely amazing the decent dentist that I had in Preston um I told that she took she took everything into account because I've got a, like a, a really unique joint problem that does affect everything about me including my teeth and she actually knew about it she took that on board she was like okay so the condition you've got it means that anesthetic's not so good with you is it and I was like no but thank you um, she realised that I was absolutely terrified of the dentist because of all the horrible experiences that I'd had. Um, she like talked to me beforehand, she didn't rush me. Um, she was like, don't worry, you know, this is what I can do for you. And, you know, and she actually, she went above and beyond, like made my teeth look amazing. And I felt like I had no problems going to the dentist when she was my dentist, but then I've moved. So.